you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. So. It's none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. <laughs> Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we're going to be tackling transphobia. <laughs> I know Cody Ko said that Jake Paul had the most punchable face in history, but I disagree. I think this girl has the most punchable face in history. Just that kind of face you want to just like knock some sense into her. Oh, and I am the most anti-violent person you'll meet. Like I'm so anti-violence. But if I ever came across this in public, it's on site. It's on site. It's on sight, okay? Like, bro, oh my god. She has the most punchable face in history. Because I'm always like, you don't handle things with violence, you handle it with education and tolerance. But bro, like, you can't get through to this I watched a few of her videos and genuinely, like, I've never been so frustrated. I hate making this video too because she's probably like, any publicity is good publicity. Like, what a horrible despicable human being do you have to be she like goes to people and she's just like i just want you to realize the hypocrisy and like all of your beliefs and they're like aren't you pro-life and pro-gun does that make any sense to you she's like i need a gun to protect myself so i can murder people who are like trying to come near me but like the second you get rid of a sack of cells in your uterus fucking murder like that makes no sense hun like, no sense at all. I also meant to mention that I used to work with a guy who was pro- He was pro-life. He was pro-life, but pro-death penalty. Please tell me how that makes any sense to you! But, like, pro-life because abortion is murder, and no murder is ever justified. Except if it's for the death penalty. Yeah. So, yeah, it's okay if we have, some, like, a pretty good idea that someone did something bad. Just fucking murder them. But, uh, you know, a little sack of cells Keep that around because that's murder. You people make no sense. Like, I mean, that was the only reason we couldn't speak to him. No, he was also just a fucking idiot. He was also homophobic. Okay, anyways, we'll flip back to the video. Like, I'm also Canadian, so I'm very anti-gun. Have you read the statistics? Like, I just, like, I don't understand what her fucking argument is. Do you understand the statistics? Do you understand Australia and Canada abolishing gun rights? Raw crime levels down, like, an insane amount. What happened in the good old days when you just fucking had to use your fists, right? Right, Caitlin? It's on site if I meet you, like, bruh. I swear to God. But the most annoying part about her fucking videos, sh the, her, the comments are turned off. You can't comment on her videos. You're all about like having a discussion about law, blah, 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 blah. but you don't want to have a discussion. You want to put these videos out where you spew your own opinions at people. You tell them they're wrong. You don't want to have a discussion. Honestly, like, I respect everyone's right to their own opinion. I mean, I'm not gonna respect her right for her opinion right now because I'm disagreeing with it. But like, at the end of the day, you have the right to your own body, but don't take away my right to my own body. The title of her video is called College Students Have No Morals. What? Like, you have no morals. You literally have no empathy for anyone but your fucking self. Okay, we're gonna go into the video though. We're here today at the University of Kentucky to see if college kids think we should put tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods and urinals in the women's restrooms for women who have ding-dongs. I don't know one male to female transgender woman who would want to pee in a urinal. Are the, like the urinals in the stalls? Because if they're in the stalls, you wouldn't be seeing their penis out in public. What transgender woman wants to pee in a urinal? Don't you understand what transgender like is? They don't want to be a man. Like they don't want to pee in a urinal. They don't, they want to have the woman experience because they're a woman. Say there's a male in a female bathroom, there should be a dispenser outside. Either one can grab it because Transgender men do have period. Transgender women do not want to pee in urinals because they're women and can probably just sit down on the toilet. You know, a penis can, you know, do that. Pull this theory out of her fucking ass. And my problem with her is she comes and it's not even the fact that she has an opinion that differs from me. It's the fact that she's so fucking condescending and disrespectful. Like, she'll ask a question and before you can even reply, she'll say something really rude back and like look at the camera and then look back and be like, what a fucking idiot. You get nervous when I give you facts. Shut the fuck up and let people speak. Like, let someone speak. You're not here to have a discussion. You're here to spew your own fucking opinions at people. Oh, I'm getting fucking heated. Should we put urinals 
in the women's restrooms here on campus to be more inclusive to women who have penises. You know, they stand up when they pee. They stand up when they pee. She's so dense, it's like not even funny. If there's budget, I don't see a problem. I really liked his response, as long as it's in the budget. As long as like the school can afford to do that and like, you know, it, it feels important enough to everyone, why not? It is possible for a transgender man to have a uterus. And also like, have you never heard of hermaphrodites? Ah! If you were to walk into the women's restroom and you saw a woman with a penis there using a urinal, would you be concerned or would you accept it and be inclusive? What would you do? Um, it's none of my business. So, none of your business that a man no. is in the women's restroom. If they're in the women's restroom, then they identify as a woman. I just want to like... slow clap for that woman because it was such a concise like to the point you know she's like you see nothing wrong with a man in the woman's washroom she's like if they're in the woman's washroom they identify as a woman like what transgender woman is just in the bathroom with her dick out they don't want urinals like no one like they probably don't even want you to know that they have a dick someone was just peeing in the bathroom with their dick hanging out like no 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 one's peeing in the bathroom with their dick hanging out what do you mean they have stalls in a woman's bathroom oh my god like what there's a urinal in the stall how would you even know if she has a dick or not the thing with these people is like why do you fucking care so much about what's going on in someone else's pants why do you care it's really creepy why you care so much about what's what someone else's gender is like why do you have such a weird obsession with it why are you in the bathroom thinking like oh my god what's the person beside me doing in there like no just focus on your own shit worry about yourself oh who would have known men walking into okay don't question anything about men walking into women's restrooms ever they're just there because they're women they're not, not predators no and i agree with her to a certain extent about this but not in the way that she thinks she said it for i don't ever think that women's safety should be an afterthought Never. Whenever creating policies, whenever creating changes in, a, in an institution or a situation or a place or a government, women's safety should never be an afterthought. That should always be considered. There always should be women who are there helping to make the decisions. But just the automatic idea that transgender women are predators is so disgusting, it's so disrespectful, and if you look statistically, it's not even true. She loves to pull out facts and stats all the time. I would love to see your stats and facts. It's actually more dangerous for a transgender woman to go into the men's washroom than it is for her to, like, are you fucking stupid? Do you understand? Like, it's more dangerous for transgender people to go into the bathroom of their assigned gender at birth than it is for them to go into the bathroom of the, the gender they identify as. Like, could you just take for a second, imagine I have two favorite YouTubers who are both transgender, Gigi Gorgeous and Blair White. I'm gonna post a bunch of pictures of Gigi and a bunch of pictures of Blair White. Could you imagine these two women walking into the men's washroom and going to the bathroom? Does that make any sense to you? And both of these, transgender women. They both didn't have bottom surgery for at least a long time. So both of them, while looking like this, had their male genitalia fully, fully intact. So you're telling me that these two women should be going into the men's bathroom and you don't think that some ignorant fool one day is gonna get really mad and beat one of them up or hurt one of them? And you don't think a transgender male who looks like this or looks like this walking into the woman's bathroom is not fucking terrifying for women? Like, who cares if you have a dick? To me, it's the fact that a male is walking into the washroom presenting as male. Like, that's scary to me. I wouldn't want a man coming into my washroom. I'd be okay with a transgender woman any day of the week. Oh, I'm getting so heated, guys. Transgender people are not predators. If a predator's going into the bathroom, they're going into the bathroom, whether or not we have these rights. That's not gonna stop them. You know what I mean? Like, just because you have the rights doesn't mean shit. Do women have penises? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, okay, we don't know who has penises and vaginas. vaginas. Did she really just say virgi virginas? That was the most cringiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, have a good day. Hope you figure it out. It's so condescending to be like, I hope you figure it out. Like, I hope you figure it out, you Use a free lesson in natural sciences. Men don't have periods. Take it to the back. Biological men don't have periods. Transgender men have periods. What do you think about putting tampons and pads in the men's restroom here on campus for men who have periods? Yeah, absolutely. That's essential.
Yeah, there's there's uh there's more than people think. What men having periods? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By God, did you s tell them to seek medical help if men are having periods? Well, trans men have periods. Oh. Okay. Okay. Explain that one to me. Yeah, so, uh, so people who have uh, transitioned from female to male, um, you know, obviously, you know, they might still have periods, and, you know, if they identify as male, you know, they have the right to go into the men's room, uh, but if they're still having periods, they have the right to have, you know, the products they need. Can we just talk about the old men that walked by at the end? <laughs> I honestly, this guy that answered it, love him. Love him so much. Honestly, like, she really couldn't say anything to it. It's like when someone comes at her with a valid point, like, she really has nothing to say other than, like, Oh, well, can you explain that to me? And I hate how she's like, well, did you ask them to seek medical help if they're having a period? Like, it's so condescending and it's just trying to make you feel like you're stupid. And he was so, like, articulate and intelligent when he said that. He, like, explained it so perfectly. Like, literally, like, fucking good job, boy. You know, regular cis men, you know, don't necessarily have to have a urinal, uh, per se. It could be nice. Um... You said regular cis men. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that just be a regular man? Uh, it would be a regular cis man. Uh, What's the difference? Uh, cis just means that you identify as the gender that you were born as. Men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods. Cis men don't have periods, but some men do. Yes. All right. Thank you for the lesson. Good I appreciate thing. it. Thank you. Like, w what's so frustrating to me about that, the fact that she was like, Ugh! Oh my god, what a fucking idiot! Is that he was so kind. He was so kind and so intelligent and just because he has a differing opinion from you, you have to be so fucking disrespectful. Like that's why she frustrates me so much. It's like, you can have your own opinion, you can go do that. But like, when someone's explaining to you something that's literally facts, you, you have to make a face and like, put them down, you know what I mean? He was so kind and so intelligent so tolerant and so articulate and you literally just like made a joke out of it which is like anyone can see that you're being the ass not him so frustrating i love you guy with long hair you rock she sucks okay that's fine if it makes them feel comfortable i don't mind like i don't i don't really care about it i just want people to feel comfortable like if they want to use the woman's restroom i have no problem with it like i just love how everyone's literally like i don't care it doesn't affect me like if it makes them comfortable i'm good with that like honestly most of them are just like why should i care if they want to implement it do it it's not hurting anyone like if anything it's benefiting people and this is what everyone's opinion should be why do you care so much about other people's genitalia what do you think about putting urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises and they just want to stand and pee. Um, I think people just making too big of a deal about it. I don't really care. Okay, so we should or shouldn't? I mean, I don't really care. Okay. What about tampons and pads in men's restroom for men who have periods? If you're really getting that worked up about it, why does it matter? Like, I don't care. It's just sitting there. I'm not going to take it. Okay, so we should provide men with tampons. I mean, if a dude wants a tampon for some reason, he can have a tampon. That's not my business. What would he use it for? I don't know. That's his problem. What would he use a pad for? His problem. Do you think they should seek medical advice if they're having bleeding? I mean, if they want to, I don't really care. Why should I care? I don't know. I care about people. If they're you know, bleeding I, out of their penis, yeah. I would want to... I care about people's personal rights. They can do whatever they want. It's not, none of my business. I think this guy actually has another perfect response. Like, these are the ways to respond to her. Because, like, why do I care? Why should I care? They want to go seek help, go seek help. You know what I mean? They want a tampon. Use a tampon. It's not affecting me. Why do I care? I'm fine with them doing it. Why, why should I care whether, whether or not they do? And then she answers, well, I care about people. No, you don't. You don't care about people at all. Like, this is just proof you don't. Because you don't care about these people you're talking to. I care about people's personal rights. That was, like, perfect. Like, it's nobody's business what's going on in your pants. If you're going into a stall to do your business, it's nobody else's business but yours. If you want to go take a shit, go take a shit. If you want to pee out of your dick or your vagina, go do it in the privacy of your stall. What do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises? and we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them. Sounds fantastic. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Sounds great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything wrong with those statements? No. He's literally, you can see in his face that he's like, sounds great.
Literally in his face, you can see how angry he is. He's like, I want to punch this girl. I want to punch her so bad. I want to sock her in the face. It's on site. And put urinals in women's restrooms for women who have penises. I wouldn't have any effect on that. I would have no issue with <laughs> I don't get how anybody got a problem with that. I also love these answers. That has no effect on me, so I wouldn't have any problem with it. Literally affects no one else. It's just benefiting those, like, few people. You think girls on this campus would have a problem walking in and there's a... Dick hanging out? Whose dick is hanging out? Tell me! Tell me what transgender woman's dick is just hanging out in the woman's bathroom. So we just say it's too bad, we gotta be inclusive. Like, if girls are upset about it, should we say we gotta be diverse and inclusive? It's not that simple, but yeah, we should. Yeah. Too bad, ladies. If you don't want to see a penis in your bathroom, too bad. Too bad. <laughs> All right, you heard it there. Tell me, who? Like, wh when have you ever walked in on that? i really like to know, Caitlin. I'd really like to see the statistics of women walking in the bathroom and just seeing a dick hanging out. Are you a progressive? I'm a big conservative. Should we put urinals in women's restrooms here on campus to make women with penises feel more comfortable? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's important to make everyone feel included. Um, I I'm, thought you said you were a huge conservative. I am. It's important to make everyone feel really included. That doesn't make you not a conservative. Like conservative and ignorant transphobic asshole aren't synonyms for each other. Not all conservatives are a dick like you. Although I disagree with a lot that conservatives believe in, I really don't think all conservatives are just fucking dicks. Because a lot of them, like him, are very accepting of inclusivity, are very accepting of people from other backgrounds and beliefs and ideologies. Like, you don't have to be intolerant just because you're conservative. That makes no sense. Okay, so we're just gonna end the video there because I think I, I uh, got frustrated a little bit too many times. But basically, like, this girl is just so ignorant, so disrespectful. And to me, it's like, you know, I understand, like, it's important to question things. It's important to look into things. Sometimes it's important to play devil's advocate. That's how you get into the deep, the deeper knowledge of things, right? I'm a philosophy major. I totally understand analyzing and asking questions, being analytic and, and you know, discovering the truth. But I also think there's a difference between that and going and, and like verbally and physically disrespecting people. Like going onto a campus and basically telling people they're wrong, telling people that I have the facts and my opinion's right and your opinion's wrong. It's just disgusting. Like, like, why do you think you have this God complex that like everything you say is right? And the, the problem is, is most people get really mad when arguing with her because you can't argue with an idiot. Because having an argument with a smart person is hard. Having an argument with a stupid person is impossible because they'll never agree with you. They'll never concede. She's the most closed-minded person I've ever heard. She doesn't want to hear anyone's opinion. She'll take the mic away from you when you're making a valid point and she'll just speak over you louder. She just like, she won't let anyone speak. She's not there to have discussions. She's there to try to embarrass people, which is disgusting. Like you're a horrible person. Anyways, that's all for this video, I guess. If you want me to react to any more of her videos or any other uh, videos like this, please send them to me or comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Love you cuties and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Okay, don't question anything about men walking into women's restrooms ever. They're just there because they're women. They're not predators. No. Oh, so I paid 80000 for a surgery. I'm getting facial plastic surgery. I did hormones for two years to fuck up my masculinity just to go in the bathroom to spy on women. Hmm. I didn't know that. Before Caitlyn Bennett was the gun girl, she was just known as the racist chick to poop her parents at a fat party. <laughs> Caitlin Bennett got famous because she opened carried the area or 15 on campus after she graduated. She also got so drunk that she set herself on the floor at a party. <laughs> Caitlin Bennett sure talks a big racist, transphobic, bigoted, dumbass game for someone who's known for shooting herself at a fat party. <laughs> this is my favorite. I hope Caitlin Bennett somehow finds herself shooting her pants at another party and only being able to find a men's bathroom to clean herself up in, in which there are menstrual products being provided for men who have periods. Stupid idiot poo poo pants who thinks she's always right and she's a poo poo bum. My ass, she stood herself at a party. Poo poo idiot. Hi everyone, I'm here with Caitlin Bennett, uh, aka Gun Girl, right? Mm -hmm. Is it true that you shit yourself at a Kent State party? It's not. Is it true that you just lied to me lie. in order to. <laughs>
So that Kent State girl who wants to fuck an assault rifle or whatever has been going around and interviewing college students and being pretty high key transphobic. Um, but she's been getting dragged pretty consistently over and over. And I just want to tell you guys to stop because one day someone's going to drag her really, really badly and she's, <laughs> she's going to shit her pants again and then it's going to be game over for all of us. What if, when you went to the bathroom, there were people with penises there? Oh, like a unisex bathroom? Yeah, I don't mind those. Not necessarily, because everyone there identifies as a woman. But some of them have penises. How do I know they have penises? What? Like, it's a normal bathroom with stalls, right? Yeah, it's a normal bathroom. So, like, how do I know if someone who looks like a woman and identifies as a woman, and is peeing in the stall next to me, has a penis. Like how, in this hypothetical situation, how would I even know? If I, even if I cared, how would I, how would I know? You wouldn't know, and that's what's scary about it. Why is that scary though? Because there could be a, pe a penis nearby. Right, and I don't know, I don't know.